it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls and I am here today to do my June favorites for you guys. I have quite a few things so I'm going to go ahead and get in, get into it right now. The first thing on my list is the L'Oreal Color Riche um, lipstick in 184 Merino Mauve. And let me just start out by saying I love the packaging of this. It is so nice and it's actually very like it has a luxurious feel to it. And I really, really like this color. It's extremely light, but it's it's really, really a pretty pink and um, honestly perfect for a light, um, something that's a lot lighter if you're not looking for a very bold color. But I actually use it with a couple of other things that I'm going to show you. That's kind of been my like go-to lipstick for the month. Um, but I really, really like these Color Riche lipsticks and I want to get a lot more um, a different variety of colors because these just go on so smooth and so nice. Um, honestly, they're just my favorite lipstick right now and I just love the packaging and everything about it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So another thing that is my favorite that I use in conjunction with this is the CoverGirl Lip Perfection um, Jumbo Gloss Balm and this one is in, I believe it's in ballet slippers. It's the one thing I don't like about these products. They do not keep the name on it. They just put the number and this one's in 205 but I'm pretty sure it's ballet slippers. I'll put it down below. But um, again, this is kind of a light frosty nice pink and I use this in conjunction with this one. I put this one on first and this one on top. And then when I'm even going for something more um, of a nude color, I'll tell you my other favorite. This is a MAC lip gloss. I actually got this in one of their special collections but honestly it's um, I don't think it's, I think it's just in another color. They still sell it. This is um, see-through, see-through, and it's like a nude, a very nude color, but I put that on top of those two if I'm going for even a nuder look. But um, just to go back to the Jumbo Gloss Balm, these are so nice. I have them in a couple of different colors. These are great for, I feel like, the summertime, especially if you just want to use these and run out the door. They're very, very moisturizing, which is what I really, really like about these. Um, so I'm very happy with this product, very happy about it. Of course, the MAC Lip Glass, this has just happened to be one that I'm really into this month. But um, it is, um, people you know, say these are a little sticky, and they are, but I do like this color because it's a nude, and I don't really have many other nudes, so that's kind of why I chose it. Um, Next thing, I've been loving, 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 and I found this, I want to say, on Miss Morgan's channel, Miss Morgan's Life channel. I'll link it below if I said it wrong, but this is an amazing product. It is the L'Oreal Concealer Stick, and um, I forget the exact name to this, but this is in the shade Fair Light, and it's already rubbed off, so you can't even see um, what it said on the package. But... Needless to say, even though that happened, I really, really do love this. This is so creamy and it blends so, so well if you're trying to conceal a blemish or any like red spotting um, on your face. I love it. It has been so good and I'm so excited I found this on another YouTuber's channel because um, honestly, that's one of the reasons I'm on YouTube is because it's so nice to see what's working for other people so you're not wasting your money on stuff that doesn't work when you go to the store to pick up things. So definitely, definitely recommend this, and I'll put the exact name below, but um, this one I think I said is in fair to light shade, but they come in a lot of different other shades as well, and honestly, just my favorite concealer right now. Talking about concealers, I'm going to talk about another thing that has been my favorite this month, and it's actually this Benefit um, Boing, I'm in the shade 02, and Lemonade, and it's a concealer and corrector um, duo palette, which I got for $12 at, um, uh, I believe I got it at Ulta in one of those, again, at that little, um, at the end spot where they have all the other stuff on the rack that's like, try this, you know, and it was cheap, and I was like, well, I've heard good things about Boing, but I've never tried it myself, so I thought, why not? I'll give it a shot. I have been using both of these under my eyes, so I'll do the yellow lemonade under there first, and then I will take the Boing concealer and go over that, and I've been finding that it's been working very well for me, so that's kind of been my under eye concealer that I've just been going to all month long. So the next thing is <laughs> something that everybody talks about on YouTube in the beauty community and I finally got mine over Christmas and funny story, it is the 
naked Urban Decay palette. And honestly, who doesn't love this? It's expensive, it's $50. Um, mine was actually a gift over Christmas and my mom bought it for me, but funny story, she ended up buying this and keeping it for herself and then she bought me mine because she liked it so much and I think that's just a testament to this product is amazing and it is worth the money. You can create so many looks with it and that's one of the things I love about it. It's versatility. Um, this is what it looks like if you haven't already seen it. I'm trying not to blind you but um, it's just got an array of light to dark colors. Some are shimmer, um, some are matte but they are just really really great and I think it's funny too because of some of the names on here I think are really funny. Um, just kind of odd names, but they're, uh, they make me laugh. Urban Decay products tend to do that. Um, the only thing I would say that I don't like about this palette is this felt, um, cover because it's, it gets nasty. But other than that, I like everything about this. It's a wonderful product and I've just been doing most of my makeup with this palette all month long as well. So I'm going to talk about the um, foundation I've been using lately, and that is the Revlon Nearly Naked. Um, I believe this is in 120 Vanilla, and I've been really liking this product. It um, less is more for me. I don't like to have a heavy, caked-up face of makeup, so this has been really nice in, in light amounts. I don't use a whole lot, but it really does um, doesn't feel too heavy on your face. And this color is really works for me. I think it's one of the better colors I've used lately in different um, with different foundations. So I'm really liking it. It's been a great summer one and pretty happy with it. So I'll be using it until it's done. Then the next thing I have on my list is I actually got this in an Ipsy bag, which I'm super excited to share with you guys. It is the Pacifica Coconut Crushed Pearl Luminizing um, Body Butter. And the cool thing about this is it actually leaves like a little shimmer, um, not bad or anything like that, like you can barely tell, but it does have a little shimmer to it. And I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit. It smells amazing and it is a little thick, has a very um, thick consistency, but it's really, really moisturizing. And it smells so, so good. Um, and I absolutely love it. You do have to work to kind of get it in, but um, to get it to kind of blend in but it really has a really lovely tropical to me smell which is great for the summer and even better it came in ipsy and it was something I definitely would repurchase so I'm excited about that so nail polish my favorite favorite nail polish I love turquoise colors I love greens and so this kind of hit it on the head for me it's an Essie polish it's called naughty nautical and honestly this is just an amazing color. I like it a lot. Let's see if it'll show up for you. Um, it's just a really great green color. I don't know if I have a um, swatch of this or not, but it has like small reflex of silver in it. Very tiny. It's hard to see, but this is an amazing color, and I think it's, I think it's their one of their summer collections or one of the newer collections out. But I really, really like this a lot. And then the final thing I have for you guys for my June favorites is the Bath & Body Works um, spray, body spray in Rome Honeysuckle Amour. And this is the version that actually has a lot of shimmer in it. You can buy the version that, or the version that doesn't, but for some reason I was like, yes, I want to be sparkly this year. Um, and I love it. Let me just tell you some of the notes that it has in it. Um, Italian peach, blackberry, green mandarin, pink honeysuckle, white raspberry, peony, and then golden amber, soft sandalwood, and cypress wood. And honestly, it is just a lovely light scent. It's floral, it's it's really nice. I'm gonna put some on right now. But I could not be happier with this, and I have been, again, using this all month long. And I think that about wraps up my favorites. I know I had a lot, so I tried to go through it pretty quickly for you guys. But um, tell me what you guys are loving for your June favorites. So let me know down in the comments below what you've been enjoying this month. I love to talk to you guys in the comments um, to see what you guys are into and what new things I want to try out. So I hope you guys are having a great summer. I've been having a pretty good one myself. It's been absolutely busy. Um, but it's been good. So again, I will talk to you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.